This labor dispute was and is an opportunity for the White House to live up to its lofty words and come down on the side of the workers. Unfortunately, these recommendations are far from that. Which side are you on? Adam, you had written last week a letter to uh, President Joe Biden and Secretary Marty Walsh, Secretary of Labor Marty Walsh, and uh, we were going to ha uh, read that uh, as sort of an open letter. Um, so, so Adam, I'll, I'm going to hand, hand it over to you. Sure thing. Uh, yeah, I wrote this uh, well, uh, I think it's been about two weeks now. I'm not holding my breath for a response uh, from either of those gentlemen, but to Mr. President Biden and Mr. Secretary Walsh. I want to say that I'm an active labor union member who has served in various positions within multiple unions. I'm an active voter. I've served as a volunteer and even as a candidate. And I wrote to express my disappointment over the administration's inadequate response to labor. I was led to believe that this would be the, quote, most pro-union administration of our lifetime. And yet opportunity after opportunity to support organized labor has been neglected or worse. Over 1,000 of my fellow Alabamians have been on strike since April 1st, 2021, against the shocking corporate greed of Warrior Met Cole. These UMWA sisters and brothers have been holding the line, fighting only for what is fair, after sacrificing to save the company. While the Alabama government has used state troopers and court injunctions to try to break the strike, this Democratic administration has been completely silent. The administration has yet to even make a statement or a visit, much less attempt to bolster negotiations and persuade Warrior Matt Cole to sign a fair agreement. There's been a rampant crime wave among corporations such as Amazon and Starbucks flagrantly violating labor law. While worker organizers are being terminated, threatened, deceived, and retaliated against in numerous other ways, the administration has remained on the sideline. While the NLRB at long last appears willing to fulfill its congressional mission to support labor organizing, and General Counsel Abruzzo has been a breath of fresh air, such blatant violations of the spirit and the letter of our nation's laws should not be left to an understaffed, underfunded NLRB alone to address. The most recent and perhaps most disappointing action was through the president's recommendations regarding the freight rail labor dispute. While recommending raises higher than the company offer, but lower than the union request, virtually none of the critical concerns of the workers were addressed in these recommendations. The freight rail companies are putting these workers, and by extension our entire economy, at risk with their egregious practices. These workers deserve safe working conditions and reasonable time off in addition to much needed pay raises. This labor dispute was and is an opportunity for the White House to live up to its lofty words and come down on the side of the workers. Unfortunately, these recommendations are far from that and ignored the cries of our fellow workers in such an important industry. I call on the Secretary of Labor and the President to actually support these freight rail workers to actually address the rampant union busting and labor law violations by companies like Starbucks, and to finally intervene on the side of the miners in Brookwood, Alabama. The administration can do this. Will you? You just saw a clip from the Valley Labor Report. We are live every Saturday morning from 9.30 a.m. till 12.30 p.m. And we pride ourselves on keeping all of our content free to everybody so that we can talk to as many working folks as possible. If you support the work that we're doing, you think that it's important, you think that it's good, then consider making a monthly contribution to the project. And you can do that on our website, tdlr.fm. 